Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, today we will discuss full bridge or H bridge converter. Full bridge H bridge converter is used in SMPS topology. It is used to achieve high power output when we need more than 100 watt up in up to in kilowatts. So this topology is used. For example, one kilowatt, two kilowatt. 5 kilowatt, 6 kilowatt, this topology will be used. With compared to a simple SMPS, in simple switching mode power supply, we use one switch. But here, we are using four switches, four MOSFETs, four IGBTs, four transistors for switching this high frequency transformer. Basically, I received this message from one of my viewers. He asked me, I want full bridge circuit diagram with isolated transformer gate drive but only one signal input to drive first of all we have to understand how is the circuit working we need four switches and at a time in full bridge topology we use two switches one switch for positive and second for negative in the next half cycle we use the other pair the pairs work in cross Basically, if we see this shape looking like H, two points of these two and two common point of these two components, here we connect transformer. Q1 and Q2 will work together. Q3 and Q4 will work together. To drive these components, we use half bridge driver, full bridge driver, like uh, IR2304, LM5115. So when Q1 will switch, Q2 will switch the same time. We apply positive voltage from here, energy storage coil, from this transformer, from this MOSFET and return line. This is our DC rail. So in first cycle, in first cycle we apply the complete voltage present on the capacitor. If we compare with half bridge, in half bridge we we apply V in divided by 2. But here we apply V in completely. So in next cycle, when these two switches will off, these two switches will on. So in that case, the positive line from here, from here, from here to this switch. Q3 and Q4 will work. Now we have to consider one thing. In first cycle, the path was from positive line to this MOSFET, this coil, and from transformer, this dotted end, to this end. So the current path was from top side to dotted side to under side. But in this case, positive voltage from here and from this way so this way. this transformer will work as a pulsating AC first VN will apply in this way and in second condition the VN will supply it in opposite direction so transformer will, will produce bipolar magnet in first switching cycle Q1 and Q2 will turn on. When these two will turn on, these two will off. At that time, Q3, Q4 are silent. When Q1 and Q2 are silent, T off, at that time, the second switch will turn on. So we have T on, VST off. So to control the voltage, it will adjust its T on, VST off. So it's maximum switching time until here. After that, it have dead time. From each cycle, we have dead time. In T on time, it will allow the maximum current to flow from the primary. And if it have to adjust the voltage to de decrease or increase the voltage, it have to adjust its duty cycle until this limit, T on. From minimum to maximum limit is here. After that, the next cycle for the next switching pair, so these pairs will work and in the result 
q1 and q2 will switch and we will take v in a transformer and in next cycle q3 q4 will work and in that condition we will receive the same applied voltage here we have vn multiplied by 2 because the collapsing magnetic field plus the voltage from the DC rail will add it together so we will receive the complete Vn on the transformer so it will produce magnetic field so we will receive voltage in the output at each transistor each pair at each pair switching one diode will forward second will reverse so we will receive the maximum current this topology have dual specifications for half bridge for voltage stress and push pull for current provision full bridge topology is expensive but it is very useful to produce high current in the output how we can find a good design for this topology for that reason we can visit i will give some reference designs you can follow that designs and you can design your own circuit go to I will give two sites today TA.com Texas Instruments Products Power Management in power management go to reference designs when we proceed here at reference design section go to topology when we proceed here topology select full bridge when we select full bridge it will give a four selections okay we will select the four then come to isolated now we have a wide range of selection different circuits here it is topology full bridge LLC full bridge phase shift full bridge resonant so here is the IC controller and in market it is industrial power supply and it is rated out for power it is about 500 watt 2000 watt 6700 watt so different designs are here we can follow any design for example if I want to see this design You can check it out yes if we see this design we have four MOSFETs here transformer and for four MOSFETs we have two half bridge drivers it is LM5113 TME this one is the second so it will drive GPLR, GPLL, these signals high and low side drive. So these ICs will receive two commands from this IC. It is our main controller. So it will give a drive pulse to these drivers, and these two drivers will drive sequentially these four MOSFETs. And it will work in pair. If this high side will work, at that time this low side will work. If this will work, this will work. So it will work in pair and these will switch the transformer and finally we will take for output and here we have a controlled rectifier. This controlled rectifier LM15113 to regulate the voltage. So it is not working like a simple regulator. It is a controlled regulator. We can also follow the design guide. We can select any one design whatever we want for example we want 6000 watt so we can proceed to this design just we have to copy the design and we have to modify it you can take a good idea how this circuit will work you can download the design and you can download the design parameters second now go to infineon.com infineon Dot com if you go here go to tools when we reach here at tools 
power supply simulation tool. Here it will re recommend some designs or you can design your own circuit but here if I see full bridge AC to DC converter half bridge we need full, full bridge because our friend asked me to how he can get full bridge so full bridge design click full bridge for example it is V and max 240 volt minimum 100 volt we need 12 volt 40 ampere okay I need for example I need 30 ampere the second supply I need 24 volt 20 ampere initialize design so this tool will design online automatically the company will give a perfect design so here we can find every component value fuse 30 ampere 450 volt thyristor how much the NTC value 22.5 ohm 22 ampere okay here we have a filter module we can design online a circuit so it is calculated the bridge value 15 ampere 1 kV bulk capacitors here we have switching devices MOSFETs MOSFET number and frequency switching frequency is 45 kilohertz so here we have transformer design how much is T1 primary inductance 1 199 micro Henry EE 55B this core so here is auxiliary winding and here is the output winding it is for 20 ampere V V out 1 12.19 volt 25.47 volt 20 ampere so we can design our circuit like this so here all the components are described we can also get the BOM bill of material and we can also design uh, download the design here it is transformer specifications click on the transformer so it will give the transformer specifications W1 winding number 1 2 turn winding number 8 2 turns 3 turns 2 turns 2 turns in secondary so all required informations are available here so we can follow the design here core data and uh, winding data here we can find two turns AWG 18 wire by 11 11 and 11 strands in parallel here are its losses and component failure rate every component how much it will dissipate power and losses for each component and total conduction losses and overall switching losses here we can find bill of material all components and their values for example L1 so L1 it will give all data about this inductor for example it says R34 6.2 kilo ohm 0.125 watt every component is enlisted in this page so you can design any reference design you can take any idea so friends I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative hit the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and if you want to watch my future videos the like button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh